I'm Miss Ladies, I'm a nail artist. My work I would describe as magical, otherworldly, and avant-garde. Hi, my name's Hannah, and I would describe my work as fun, detailed, and extra. My name is Nadia, and I am a nail technician. I would describe my nail art as classy, artistic, and different. You have an hour and a half to create nail art inspired by the following image. Butterflies. Butterflies! Your arts will be photographed in an editorial photo shoot. All right, let's do it. So I'm just gonna buff a little light amount on the top of my nail just to get the surface oil off. Gel does not like any moisture, oil. It doesn't want to adhere to skin. So for a longer lasting manicure, make sure they're dry. Using a very fine nail file meant for the natural nail, I'm just gonna slightly push back the cuticle. It helps to remove the dead skin. So my first step is gonna be taking out the hearts that we're gonna use to make the butterfly. The hearts are vinyl and they're pre-cut hearts that I usually cut out with hole punches. When I first looked at the prompt image, my eye immediately went to the monarch butterfly. They're my favorite kind. Then I was appreciating the other butterflies that were also in the picture. And I was like, yeah, let's throw some of those on. Just gonna pop uh, an assortment of butterflies. Some that are fluttering, some that are still, some dangling from chains. Like I've got a butterfly party just hanging out on my hands. Butterflies to me always signify like positivity and happiness, but also I always have seen people collect them in terrariums. So my idea was basically inspired off that. Like I thought it would be really cool to execute a butterfly escaping the terrarium, if you will. Because of course I can't keep normal. Just <laughs> I gotta do it my way. I'm such a butterfly lover. I'm like Mariah Carey. When I first saw the picture, I just wanted to have a big statement butterfly where you could see all the details because they're just beautiful. I have chosen to do gel extensions today. So with press-on nails, it's just adhesive tabs or nail glue. So there's no curing with a light, whereas with the extensions, you're curing them on, so they're not coming off until you have someone remove them. This is just a little flashlight. It's a UV LED. The flashlight is a mini version of the gel lamp. Press-ons are all the rave right now. So I'm going to take some glue and I'm going to place some in the back of the nail. Just a drop. I'm going to blend around the cuticle area so it can have a more natural look rather than such a press-on-ish look. What I'm using for the charms is Apre, their diamond gel charm adhesive. Then you're going to take your square slash terrarium and you're going to set it so that the wings kind of come out of it. My color of choice will be cucumber mint. Technically, every time you go back into the bottle, that's a coat. The biggest mistake a lot of people do is they apply a layer of polish that is too thick and it can give you a lumpy look. So two thin layers is always better than two or three thick layers. So the second heart is basically the second wing. What you're gonna wanna do, and this is the trick to make the hearts look like a butterfly. When they overlap, you're gonna wanna overlap half of the heart a bit. This is Japanese potted gel. It kind of stays put where you want it to while you're doing art. So when you flood the cuticle, that's when the gel hits the skin and kind of pulls in the edge right there. So you kind of, it will like butt up against the edge of your skin and cause like a ridge. Curing it and hopefully everything's in place. <laughs> didn't hit my hand. So now we have our actually real dry flowers. I'm gonna use, I like blue and orange. Wow. <laughs> Wait, I've done 45 minutes already. Wow, I need to step it up. So all of these little mini butterflies, I made myself fully from scratch out of gel. This is what it's made out of, hard gel. So I'm trying to create a fluttering butterfly. For that, I've had to make individual wings. I also brought it to show you, just some elastic cord that I got just from the art shop. As you can see, when it's long and you shake your hand around, it flutters. So now I'm applying the top coat. And the top coat, the reason why I'm going to apply it is because I want a smooth layer between the nail art 
and the gel polish. So everything I use is all gel product. Well, I like to spin the brush after I grab the bead to do that because sometimes you get like a little trail behind it and that way it keeps your brush clean and also the outside perimeter of your bottles clean. So I'm going to just kind of sketch a little bit where I'm going to be placing the butterfly and the stones. Regular pencil. going to draw our wings. Coquise, black is black, the best black to get detailed, thin lines. The monarch butterflies, they have this layered thin line look in between their wings, so this is going to help you achieve that. So now we are going to adhere the pigments to the white polish, and it's supposed to give it like an airbrush look, an ombre-ish look. The purpose of me doing the gloss layer is so that it wouldn't stick to the gel polish. If you don't put the top coat, the gel polish still has the inhibition layer. It will be sticky, which means that the pigment will adhere to that. So this is called resin gel. Um, it's like a really thick consistency for putting any kind of adornments on. So that's just a super gummy, sticky situation in there, which is helpful for keeping everything in place. <laughs> Wow, that's excessive, okay. Look at that. She's already kind of floating out there. Just gonna dust off pigments. So I basically sculpt out of hard gel, just tracing out the shape of a butterfly. I hand paint everything, so that's the base, and then I'm doing all of the line work afterwards. I'm going to create the veins and the outlines of the butterfly, but I'm going to custom make a black. And why are you custom making the black? Uh, I just felt like doing it. So I'm going to be mixing the wave gel top coat and black. I'm gonna take this brush again. And now that our butterfly is in its terrarium, we're going to seal the wings in the back. The reason you backfill the wings with the structure gel is it's gonna help the wing keep sticking up so that it creates the 3D effect of the butterfly. We have movement. It's my little living butterfly. <laughs> this is my favorite part of the butterfly, it's just the veins in a butterfly are kind of like the cheetah spots in a cheetah. I'm working on both sides equally. So once I do one thing on one nail to keep it symmetrical, I'm gonna do the same thing on the opposite nail. Under pressure. I'm definitely feeling the pressure right now. Only 15 minutes left. There's literally chains on every nail. <laughs> I have regrets. No, let's hope for the best. I'm going to be using brush on glue to glue the rhinestones. This is the body of the butterfly. This is my VD Extra pinky nail. Party on the end. And I may have regrets later as I try to live my life when I leave the studio. Obviously, the butterfly is going to want to be around flowers. So you just take one of your individual flowers and just set it right there. Now it's in a flower pot. I'm applying the top coat around the crystal, not over it, to kind of also help it encase it a little bit. All right, I'll, I'll whip some top coat on and we're done. One more stone, I apologize. Over. What's the countdown? Time is running up. Right on time. All right, I'm done. We made it in time. So now it's time for my photo shoot. Hi, Nidia. Hi. How are you today? Good, how are you? Hello. Just like show it to me. Hold up. Yes. Okay, let's try to. Beautiful. You got it. Yay. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, Nidia. Hi, Hannah. How are you guys? Hi. Good, thanks. How are you? Hi, I'm doing great. How are you guys? Good. I'm really disappointed that we couldn't meet in person because I would love to do a real-life review of all of our nails right now. I love butterflies and I want to see all of them. All right, girls, show us the looks. I want to see you. We're ready. Let's see them. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. Triplets. Okay. Yes. 
<laughs> yes, girl. Oh, wow. That's really dope. <laughs> I always go for a celestial thought. I al always want to take nails and make them look, in a sense, otherworldly, like kind of different from anything else anyone's ever seen. So immediately I wanted to tell the story of just the butterfly trying to escape the terrarium. And that's what I went with. I love the minimalist look. The nude pink is such a popular and sought after color. Looking at her design, you can see why. It looks like crisp and juicy. <laughs> That's what I would describe it as. Like, I don't know. It's beautiful and overall it looks amazing. I would definitely have that. I love doing butterflies and I really like doing 3D miniatures. So, of course, I was like, this is an obvious choice for me to just go over the top, do as many 3D butterflies. I just always want them to look like actual miniature butterflies just flew over to my hand, came for a picture and left. It's a lot of work ahead of time and maybe some people are like, oh my God, why do you do it to yourself? But I just really like making miniature sculptures. So. Because you get that result. That's why you like doing it to yourself. When people ever ask me that, I'm always like, did you walk over to look at them? That's why. This yeah, exactly. Like I always say to myself like, oh, I could buy these little things, but I don't know. For me, it's like the personal challenge, like how realistic and how small and clean can I make these tiny objects? So once I saw the picture, I was automatically thinking butterfly front and center. So I decided that the best way for me to showcase that is to have a really big butterfly. I chose the mint green because I wanted to give it a fresh, earthy, grassy look. I love the colors that you chose. It's like a very springtime kind of nail, which, you know, the butterflies come out in the spring. It's such a cute color combo. We love the ombre. It's perfect ombre. <laughs> and the way that you did the ombre, like just kind of makes it really look alive. How you executed that, it's dope, I love it. When is the next challenge? Right. <laughs> it's a question. <laughs> dominant hand, can you imagine that video using your non-dominant hand to do the other hand? That would be a trip. <laughs> <laughs> or blindfolded. Extra, so I'm down with that one, like for yeah. sure. <laughs> just up the ante every single time. I'll see you on Instagram, I guess. Pageant waves. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>